This is Mark Spooner at Laptop Magazine. We're taking a look at the new 13-inch MacBook Air. It is very light and thin at 2.9 pounds. It's about a pound and a half lighter than the 13-inch MacBook Pro. Uh, we're at looking at a very thin profile here, starting at 0.16 inches, but you still have a very sturdy aluminum body construction. This has an all-flash memory, so what that means for the user is that if you're in sleep mode, all you have to do is just literally flip the notebook open and it turns back on. Uh, it starts at 128 gigs of SSD memory on this particular model. You have a 4-2 Duo processor, uh, NVIDIA graphics, and you also have a large multi-touch glass trackpad, which was not available on the MacBook Air before, so you can use that for things like gestures to get rid of windows, to go back to the to the home screen. Uh, I'll give you a quick tour of the rest of the device. You have a full-size keyboard, which as you, which you'd expect, but you don't have, uh, it's not backlit, that was one of the concessions that they had to make for the size. You have a FaceTime camera, and we'll, we'll show you what that looks like. And then you also have, uh, just around the sides, you have the power, the USB, headphone, and on the other side, which you didn't have before, is an SD card slot, which you don't get on the 11-inch model, another USB port, and uh, a mini display port, which you can use adapters to go out to HDMI. So overall, it looks like a very solid uh, product, uh, very sexy, and you also have a high-resolution display. As you can see here, it's 1440 by 900 pixels, and we're talking about a battery life of 7 hours and standby time up to 30 days. So overall, it looks you know, very sexy device. And I think that Apple has a hit on its hands, as long as people are willing to live with a little less storage. This is Mark Spurnow Laptop Magazine with the new 13-inch MacBook Air.